Hey everyone, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. Today we're going to be talking about second deals, stud second deals, and bottom deals. All stuff Richard Turner uses in his work. And if you're new to the channel, let me be the first one to welcome you here. If you like this kind of content, we do magic reviews and deck reviews and tutorials and all kinds of other really cool stuff. So if you are interested in that, consider hitting the subscribe button. And uh, also maybe the bell icon, maybe. You know, we put up videos every single Friday at noon, so I hope to see you here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the content. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Uh, so, I'm doing second deals. In fact, I'll prove it. Look, I'll take the, uh, the we'll say the Ace of Spades here, and we'll just, uh, we'll deal that down uh, to the table, just like, oh wait, oh wait, I can't deal to the table. I'm sorry, I'm doing seconds. So that's called a strike second deal. It's a fantastic second deal. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. You should be able to figure out everything from this angle. If you, of course, you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will be happy to respond to you. I uh, really am trying to build up the Magic Minute as a place, a community, where we all grow and learn together. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the second deal. This is what it looks like with the card face up. Just so you can see, I'm really doing that. That's called a strike second deal. Now, uh, there's a couple of phases here that are important to realize. The very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to practice taking your, holding the, well, holding the cards correctly. And that's having the three fingers along the side, the index finger along the front there, and your thumb resting comfortably on a diagonal like that, okay? This is the foundation for a lot of really good techniques. So, let's go ahead and show you this strike. So, it's called the strike second deal because your, your pad of your right thumb is striking the card below and bringing it to the table. It's a st striking. Now, your thumb along the right edge. Okay, and it's just going to just drag that top card down in, at an angle. What that does is that exposes that top corner right there. That's what the card your thumb hits. Okay, now I'm exaggerating this to uh, for for detail here and for instruction, but really you can get away with a much thinner gap. You really only need to expose the uh, edge of the top card, depending on how grippy your thumbs are. You really only need to expose the very top edge of that card. But whenever you come up here. There's really nothing to see. They, if they see anything, they see that card being brought back. It looks like your hand goes to grab it and pull it down. But what really happens is your hand turns upwards. You contact that second card with the pad of your thumb. And then by the time you've cleared this, your hands are coming back down. There's nothing to see. Now let's go ahead and talk about stud second deals. Stud second deals uh, get their name from uh, dealing st like from stud poker, where you have a card that's turned face up. And that's a interesting technique too. It's not too much harder than the uh, than the strike second deal. What you do in this is you uh, come over, and really the only difference in the technique is that your hand r reaches palm down, and really your middle finger is going to grasp that second card there. Okay, so that's really all that's happening. You, your hand comes over, the middle finger grasps the second card, and the palm turns face up as it deals it to the table. Okay. So that's really what that looks like, okay? This one is a little bit maybe more angly. You have to do it with a little bit of uh, confidence, okay? Uh, I admittedly am a little rusty. I don't use the strike, or I'm sorry, the um, stud second deal a whole lot, but uh, it is something that uh, is not too difficult to get away with. Most people aren't watching you that close. That's perfectly acceptable way to deal those, okay? Okay, I'm going to show you the bottom deal that I know. I know there's a, I believe there's a strike bottom deal. Don't know how to do that. I'm going to share with you a technique that I learned out of um, Expert at the Card Table, I believe it is, and that is for a um, kind of a kind of a weird modified handling to get this uh, to get this to work. Okay, so really, it's extremely difficult to do with a full deck of cards. You really want to reserve this until you've dealt around some cards. This would be used, a technique used if you're actually cheating at cards. Uh, because what you would do is you would have a couple of hands already dealt, kind of all around the table, and then whenever you get to uh, a smaller pack, about half the cards, then you could do uh, the technique I'm going to show you, which is a bottom deal, uh, well, from the bottom, is I'm holding it between the base of the palm, right there, kind of where the thumb kind of starts at the palm, and uh, the middle finger, and really everything is kind of held there, the other cards or fingers are there just kind of, uh, well, because they need to be. Anything else would be weird. You do like some kind of Spider-Man thing or, oh, 
uh, heaven forbid, uh, giving somebody uh, a rude hand gesture. Okay, so uh, hold it there. Your ring finger is going to come underneath. Okay, everything should be able to move freely because you're really holding it, the whole deck with pressure just from the finger and base of the thumb. And your ring finger is going to come underneath and it's going to pull down and to the right and then extend. And that's what happens. The card comes out from the bottom right into where you would be ready to grab it okay so let's go ahead and kind of do that all in a slow motion here this is bottom deal is a tough one bottom was this is not this is not an easy one okay so the top or the thumb moves that card over to the right like it's going to be reached with the right hand okay just like a regular dealing at the same time your thumb comes over your middle finger comes underneath and buckles and extends and now you have these two cards. You kind of like have a sandwich of the deck. And you can see that sandwich of the deck right there between the bottom card and the top card. So all that's going to happen is your right hand is going to come over and grasp the card from the bottom and peel it off. And your thumb is going to return the top card back to where it is, okay? Or where it started from, okay? So from here, looks like this. Now the real tell for this, the thing you really have to worry about is breaking rhythm, okay? If you come over here like this and you're dealing very confidently and then you go, ka-chunk, uh, because you're, <laughs> you're not having a smooth rhythm, that is a very bad tell, okay? So I've seen the guys who like, wait, they're like getting ready to do the move and then, you know, do something like that, like they're trying to cover it up. All you're really doing is drawing more attention to the fact that you're doing a bottom deal. So don't do that okay so there are three false deals for you to deal like richard turner now these are things that uh, do take a lot of practice to do and uh some of them will be a little bit more difficult than the others the bottom deal for me personally was the toughest to learn and i'm still not amazing at it the thing is i don't use a lot of uh false deals except for the strike second that's about the only thing i use whenever i have a second deal that i have to have to have to have to have is the strike second I barely ever do studs, and I barely ever do bottom deals. There are just not enough uh, reasons for me and the work that I do to uh, to use them. So uh, they're here for completeness. Maybe you'll get more use out of them than I do. I hope uh, that I have helped you in your study of magic. In fact, if I have, uh, I'd really appreciate a, a like, a comment, uh, and, well, a subscription if you're into it, and maybe even a bell icon. Bing, bing. And that way, uh, you know, you'll know you get these videos every single Friday. It's going to be something new every Friday. Uh, it could be deck reviews, magic reviews. I have an idea about uh, doing some of this on the road, actually filming me performing for a real audience and then kind of going through it and critiquing it. So if that's something you guys would like to see, uh, please leave me a comment below. Also, check, take a look in the description. I have uh, links to Expert at the Card Table, Card Control by Arthur, Arthur Buckley, and also uh, some of uh, Richard Turner's works. So please keep an uh, eye out for that if you're interested in any of it. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Bye for now. No, really. Really, I'm going to turn off the camera now so you can go. Yeah, you guys have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>